Luton Town versus Sunderland. Now it's a huge game this weekend. Both Luton and Sunderland are both coming off strong defeats. Sunderland lost 4-2 at home to Burnley on the weekend. And of course, Luton got absolutely thrashed by their rivals in their local derby against Watford by four goals to nil. So both teams will definitely be looking to bounce back today. The last two times that these sides have met have both ended in one all draws. And that was also my prediction in my championship prediction video, which came out earlier this week. Now, of course, it's not a very big away end. So Sunderland have indeed sold out the allocation so I am sat in the home end. However, Luton is my local, so you know, vouch me. Sunderland have been without strikers for a while now, but there's a slight chance that Ellis Sims could be returning today. We're going to need him because we've definitely missed our strikers. Whereas Luton have been making use of their strikers, Carlton Morris won last month's Player of the Month and he's on fire this season. So hopefully Danny Bat is going to pocket him today, which I'm sure he will. Anyway, it's setting up to be an absolutely amazing game of football and I'm going to take you with me. Just set foot in Luton. There is a little garden shed there, Dylan. It's a beauty. I tell you, I love it. Yes, lads, we're here outside Kennethwell Road now. I don't know if I said it right. Big game today for the lads. Obviously, I'm in the home end, so I've got to keep that one quiet. You know, I think a one-all draw is probably on order, but hopefully there's decent atmosphere, and let's go. Right, Dylan, you're the Luton fan here today. Obviously, I'm in the home end. You come to an away day, but now you're against us. What's your score predictions? I'm happy that we're finally in my hometown. I reckon 2 0 today, Adebayo, get on the brace. He is magic. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, you just oh, there. There you go, Dylan. And here is the stadium. There's the lads warming right in front of us here. What a view we've got. There are the away fans down there. Away the lads. These seats are quite unique. They don't look very comfy, but you know, we'll take it. Ellis Sims on the bench today. My mate met him out clubbing in Newcastle. Didn't we, Dylan? Mate, he loved my videos. I showed him it. Yeah, to be fair, he was happy when he saw the goal. So he yeah. was smiling, wasn't he? He was, he was. I can't fit in the seat, lads. It might be a bit of a struggle. Anyway, today, obviously, I can't represent the lads, so I've got the Portuguese shirt on with Ronaldo on the back. World Cup shirt. Cost me 80 quid, but oh well. Dylan, you know as well as I do that it will be the Sunderland boys making all the noise this afternoon. Well, I mean, they're making noise now, but we'll make some more noise when the game gets started. Are you sure about we'll that? We're into it. Oh, for sure. You see us with big games, we're always into it. Are you ready to get beat three goals to nil? Nah, two nil to us. Come on, There he is there, the Luton man. He's doing a good job. And we are underway. Luton with a decent chance here, Dylan. It's a good start, it's a good start. They've definitely started a better team. Good atmosphere, this. Oh, you started off the better team, haven't you? We have goal coming soon from this corner, set piece specialist. Here we come. Go on. Oh, four times for Jackie. Yeah. Oh. What a game this is so far, isn't it? It's been great. Alpha Gallery should have put that away, though. It's end to end stuff so far. Go on, Clark. Go on, Clark. Go on, Clark. Oh! Someone plays the ball behind the goal. I tell you what, Jack Hart did well, didn't he? Yeah, but there was a clear foul and Carl Royce there. Should make yeah, it but he beat three players. He did decent. He did all right. Okay. Goal from this corner. No chance. Good atmosphere. the post for Luton Town. Here we come to Jacku. Leon to Jacku against the post. Against the post again. You are one lucky boy, Dylan. Post again. He just, he just literally pushed. What's over? It's a red card in my opinion. 
Yeah, three times the woodwork's been hit in like, the first half an hour. Crazy. <laughs> Right before half time, and they have not deserved that at all. I can't lie, there's no way we've been the better team. And that is half time. Right, so of course, that is half time. Dylan, what's your thoughts on the first half? I mean, what a way to end the half. Get a goal, out to go into the break. Nathan Jones will hype up even more. We'll get another in the second half. So you're going with 2 0 in the second half? I reckon it will be. I reckon Colin Morris can bag another one. He's on fire. Maybe even Alfie Dowerty. He's looking on fire today. Southern are looking kind of good. Jack so Clark looks dangerous, though, doesn't he? John Clark, John Clark is definitely the man who will score. He's creating all the chances, or maybe even they are, I'm not sure. Very disappointing way to end the first half because in my opinion we were probably the better team hit the post twice Clark had a good chance we around three players but they look dangerous from the crosses and of course they get a goal Carlton Morris is very much so in form right now again looks like we're missing the strikers hopefully Ellis Sims can come on the second half and try and shake a few things up but we're playing long to Diallo and to Jacqueline they're never going to win them balls Pritchard's looking long all the time everyone is playing long and we're just not winning it we're losing out every single time and we are underway in the second half Here comes Jack Clark. Go on. Oh, come on the ball. Free kick here. Oh. Ellis seems to get ready to come on. He's taking his bib off and the Sunderland fans. Huge cheer from them. Dylan, are you scared about Ellis Sims? Well, you said so much that you need a striker, so let's see if you can back that up. My prediction of one all could come true. Sims will come on, get a goal. I'll take the point. Here he comes. Go on, hit it, Embleton. Come on, Sirkin. Oh, hit it. Come on, Diallo. Hit it, son. Hit it. Shots off. Oh, he's done him. Go on. Sims, Ellie Sims. Oh my god, off the line. Oh my god. How's that gone in? Remember, it's their big day out. They've only come to see the Sunderland. Huge lay off there. Go on. Yes, dirty now. I don't want to celebrate, but come on. It's going for a winner now. Tell you what, Dylan, you're looking worried now, mate. Well, I mean, it's going to be your grandstand finish now. But both times we faced each other in League One, it was one all. So it was, and my prediction. Yeah. The fans are absolutely loving it. So Roberts and Sims have made the difference. Just think if we had Stuart as well. Yeah, I mean, some of them looking a bit better now, but grand start finish, like I said. Cameron Drone coming on, we all know the history he has with Sunderland about on Twitter and everything like that when he played for MK Dons. Come on, stand him up. Stand him up, man. Well defended. Jack Clark's away here. Come on, boy, beat him. Plays in Sims. Ellis Sims. Oh. This game is end to end. What an exciting game. This is oh, the... we, need, we need a winner here. We need it. Now we do, mate. We're going to win this game. Patrick Roberts. And that is full time. One each, like I predicted.
Hey, Sunderland fans are loving it our full time. 